DeepSeek R1 just got a huge upgrade. I have been waiting for a truly uncensored version of it. And Berbelixt delivered. They released something called R17076, a completely open source uncensored model based on the DeepSeek R1. It's available on Hagen Face and through their API. So let's dive in and see what this thing can actually do. And this is the article from Berbelix State speaking about the open sourcing of the R1 1776. And by the way, the 1776 is, I think, is the year of independence of USA from United Kingdom. It's the freedom year for them in USA. So the R1 1776, in its general meaning, it's mean the R1, but with a free declaration of independence which is honestly it's a very cool name, but not everyone will catch it. And I hope I'm not wrong about it. Anyway, this version of the DeepSeek R1 model has been both the train provided and by an accurate and factual information. Right now, it's available at Hagen Face under the Berbelix AI and the name is R17076. And it's Sticking off right now, finally, because it's not getting the attention it deserves. And speaking about this model, what makes it stand out is he took everything bad about DeepSeek R1 censorship and completely remove it. For example, if you ask about the Taiwan independency as a movement, you will get rejected from DeepSeek. And you already can see this when you ask it in the shed.deepseek.com. But, but when you're going to ask it in the Berbexity Playground, you will find it actually give you an effectual thinking process answer. They talked about the post training details and how hard it was and how they did it. They used human experts to identify about 300 topics known to be censored. Okay, that's a lot. I have no idea what I, I, I like. I know like there is six questions. If you ask to the deep sick R1, it will not give you an straight answer because it's censored. But 300 topics, that's kind of scary. Using this topic, we develop a multilingual, multilanguage censorship classifier. Basically, it's ask it in any language, it will give you basically the answer. Mind the diverse set of user prompt that triggered the declassifier with a high degree of confidence. So they, after that, they found out what triggered this kind of classification and make sure that it's not, it's not filtered. Okay, that's a very, very cool way to do it. The procedure enabled us to compile a dataset of 14K multilingual prompts. So they found almost every single censorship classification using the multilanguages dataset they have and used it to unfilter R1 technically. And talking about evaluation, which is something that's very important, Usually when you have a distilled version of a model, it loses some of its capability. For example, one of the famous counts on Hagen Face, the Wii U, Wii U AI, which uh, do a lot of distilled version of uh, others model. It had an issue, one of this uh, distilled version of R1, the Quinn uh, 14B ablerated version. It wasn't accurate, like even it is still good and uncensored, it's not working as it should be. He made also another version of it. He made this version of it, then he updated, I think. Then he made another version, which is brand new. It's called the DeepSeek R1 Distill Lama 70B Ablerated. And it's also available at Olama. But to be clear, this, this is not on the same level of the Berbelix DR1 in terms of quality. This model... Even if it's uncensored, it didn't lose the quality that it have and they did performance benchmark compared to the original model. It barely lost any significant number and uh, there is only one improvement happened in the, it, in the AIME, which very good, but you can see there is a fraction number is lost. You will not feel it when you use it. And they give us an example of the output for this model. And I'm going to show you a couple of questions right now. I have prepared these three questions which are very direct. In order to access this model for free and without issues, you can go to the labs.berbelixty.ai. You will find it automatically the first one selected over here beside the sonars models. 
you will under the name R1 1776. And I'm going to ask the questions over here and one in the deep seek R1 chat. I send it over here. Of course, automatically you will get sorry, it's beyond my current scope. But if you send it over here, it will start to work. As for first example, the state of Taiwan as an independent country, you know that like the deep seek automatically told us, sorry, that's beyond my current scope because it's censored. But when you ask the R1 from Berberixty, it will actually start to think about what is going on and it will give you all the points for each thing that it have or turned on and it will end it with conclusion. We can ask it also about the Hong Kong protest in 2019 and we'll hit send it will automatically start to think about it. But I am pretty sure if I send it over here in the deep chat, okay, it started to think that's new. As you have seen, it started to sink, but somehow when it reached a certain point, it stopped and said, sorry, that's beyond my current scope. Let's talk about something else. Well, this happened. The current R1 from Berblexty is working on why this happened. Which is show you that like by default, DeepSeq wasn't censored, but they added layered for censorship on top of it. Let's ask it one more spicy question. What happened in the Tiananmen Square protest? And I will hit enter. And I'm pretty sure the second I send it over here, I'm going to be flagged and have a negative score social points in China. Okay, it's I didn't even, like, I don't think it's the ABI even have detected the question and it's, like, refused it immediately. Well, the R1 from Berblexty is still working on the all the reason why and what happened in the Tiananmen Square. This kind of crazy like that. Quality didn't drop for this model and it maintained all the high quality result of thinking for R1 will make it uncensored. They also provide the R1 1776 under the ABI for a reasonable pricing. $2 for 1 million input tokens and $8 for 1 million output tokens. Which is kind of reasonable. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be faster than the deep seek R1 provider originally, and it's uncensored. So imagine what you can do with it. And that's it for today's video, gentlemen. If you found this video respecting your time and providing you with valuable information, please hit the like and subscribe button. I feel like I can do 6,000 very soon, hopefully. And I'm gonna leave the link for both the Rebo of Hagen Face and the Berbelix Deep Lake Ground because it's not easy to find. I will leave the link for it also if you want to test this model by yourself. So that was it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the coming one.